Let's look at 1 Samuel chapter 22, verse number 1. This story occurs after David had killed Goliath. Saul is very upset and jealous and is trying to kill David. And so we pick the story up here in the 22nd chapter, verse number 1. David left Gath and escaped to the cave of Adullam. When his brothers and his father's household heard about it, they went down to him there. All those who were in distress or in debt or discontented gathered around him, and he became their leader. About 400 men were with him. You say, why did they follow David into the cave? Because here's the difference. They, David, this is important. David showed them what covenant looked like. Not what it said, not the religious quote, what it looked like. You want to follow people that show you what it looks like, what it looks like. They know how it got that way. They know how to help you get there. Now, we have to admit the men that came around David had issues. The Bible says they had issues. They're discontent. You ever been around a bunch of people that are discontent? I mean, it's a pretty negative conversation, right? How about in debt? Now, I think the Bible is referring to these guys being in debt, meaning they, they really didn't see a way out. In distress, and these, these people are, they're, they're desperate. David did not advertise. He didn't send out an email that he was starting his leadership school. Why did these folks follow David? Because they saw what the covenant looked like. If it worked, and if it did work, this is, you know, if it worked, possibly it could work for me. Do you understand what I'm saying? They needed answers. They had to see it work for someone to have the confidence and courage to step into it themselves. Now, amazingly, these guys that followed David had issues. We see that. But through their journey with David, things changed drastically. In fact, they are listed as David's mighty men of valor in the book of Chronicles. It begins to list all the exploits that they did. They changed. And as David began to prepare gathering the wealth for the temple uh, that his son Solomon would build, of course, David gave a lot of money to that, but listen how much the Bible records these guys gave to the temple. 9.3, and this is in today's dollars, $9.3 billion in gold, $282 million in silver, $2 million in bronze, and $73,000 in iron. These same guys that were once in debt, disillusioned with life, hopeless, now had become extremely wealthy. And if you follow their story in the Bible, you're going to see they did the same kind of exploits that David did. You'll become just like your teacher. They had simply duplicated. They had simply learned and submitted themselves to David's leadership, and they became as David was. Who is your hero? Who are you following? You will take on the spirit of your leader. You'll take on the spirit of who you follow. Hey, how many uh, football fans do we have here? Yes, amen. How many? Well, I won't get into who voted for which one. But uh, the Buccaneers won the Super Bowl, of course. That was the uh, first time since uh, 2003. They've been in one in their history. And they won 2003, but it's been a long dry spell. And, of course, last year they were a losing team. Last year, 2019. And so now, of course... Uh, you know, Tom Brady takes him to the Super Bowl. Did anyone think there must be some lessons in that? Yeah, there's, it's, you know, how, you know, you would, how did that happen, right? Well, let's, let's analyze this. The coach, the head coach of the Buccaneers wrote this. I am reading his quote right now. Most NFL teams do things right about 75% of the time, and that's pretty good. Unless you're trying to build a bridge, in which case 75% gets you a bridge that collapses. Tom Brady showed the Bucks the 100%, the uncut corner, made them understand the applied workload that would be required to get them to the Super Bowl. This is an important phrase. This is what the coach said. We really didn't know how to win, the coach said. What is he saying? We really didn't know what it looked like. The leadership that Tom 
brought to the team and his attitude, it permeated our whole locker room. His belief and knowing he had been there and done that changed our entire football team. So let's talk about this. Obviously, Tom Brady has won six Super Bowls before this one. He knew exactly what it took. He knew what it looked like. He knew the cost that would be required to prepare for it. He knew everything about it six times over. These guys that were playing with the team now long surpassed the 2003 team. None of these guys had been there. But having someone that was now who they could follow that knew what it looked like and showed them what it looked like and what they must do to get there took them into the Super Bowl. What kind of Super Bowl are you trying to win? Who's your hero? Who are you following? It's imperative that you understand this. Matthew 15 verse 14 says this. I like this phrase. This is Jesus talking about the Pharisees and the Sadducees or teachers of the law. He says, leave them. They are blind guides. If the blind lead the blind, both fall into the pit. Friend, you're going to end up same place. Whoever you're following is going. And the Bible says, Jesus said, if it's not where you want to go, to do what? Leave them. Leave them. So who are you following? This is a key principle of success.